Thank you for coming, everyone. Today we have invited our honorable guest, and I will introduce his two major findings. He is a great thinker who gives rise to evolution of psychology, especially in the field of soul and mind. Yes, he is Aristotle. Socrates teaches Plato, and Plato teaches Aristotle, and Aristotle teaches Alexander. Generation is passed on. And among the three, Aristotle is often regarded as the father of psychology. But why? Let's go back to the ancient Greeks and see. Aristotle was born in 384 BC. Within these 62 years, he contributed a lot in human civilization. When he was 17, he enrolled in Plato's Academy. In 338 BC, Aristotle began tutoring Alexander the Great, who was really great. <laughs> Then Aristotle founded his own school in Athens. He died at the age of 62. Aristotle wrote more than 200 works. Today, I have selected two to highlight its hidden relationship with psychology. The first one, on the soul. He classifies souls into three categories, which finally shed light on humans' divine and uniqueness, which are our thoughts and also the ability to reflect, which is the rational soul. Aristotle coined the term eudaimonia, which was translated as happiness. Yes, repeat after me: eudaimonia. Again, eudaimonia. <laughs> Aristotle's eudaimonia appears long before the hierarchy of needs proposed by Abraham Maslow. He put forward the idea of being by classifying human needs into hedonia and eudaimonia. Aristotle had great influence on modern psychology. For instance, morality, virtue, and loving good life marked a significant influence on positive psychology nowadays. The second best known idea, virtue theory. Which is likely unlike the term superego, libido, id, and ego proposed by Sigmund Freud. Aristotle upholds the concept that implies if we can just focus on being good people, the right actions will follow effortlessly, and therefore, no rule is needed. What? To conclude, Aristotle is the pioneer of coining the idea and concept of parapsychy, that is, about the mind. Today we come to the 21st century. However, when we look back. We have to give Aristotle credits for developing the proto psychology, as he developed milestones for today's mindfulness and also positive psychology. Forget everything that I have mentioned. No worry. A word that you must remember about Aristotle, that is, eudaimonia, eudaimonia, eudaimonia. Wish all of you can pursue happiness because of your own personal fulfillment in life. Thank you.